Okay, so here's the knife. And I added a lot to it. Starting with the paracord right on the handle. You can there's a hole here and you can run it through there and keep an extra paracord. But it has a nice dangler sheath. It came with a chisel grind to it, just this side and flat on the other, but I took it to a sander and shaped it and made a Scandinavian type grind on it. And that brought it to where I would like a knife to be as far as usage wise. But here's a button on the side there. That's what held it on the, the rifle. So I took advantage of it and I cut a saw blade and I shaped it to fit the same as the bayonet fit on the rifle. And I'll take that apart and I'll show you here. But first I used a regular size inner tube, a thicker one, and I put a Zippo lighter in here, a mag light, one of these one battery mag lights. And on the other side, I fit this survival Altoids kit. I got fishing line and matches, compass. The cool thing about this knife I haven't showed you yet and I'm gonna take it out now but I fit this saw blade that I I just used a triple ground saw blade. I'll pull the Zippo out. This is the Zippo with the flint thing about this is once it's lit it keeps going and I think it's way better than a Bic. You can reuse the flint to start other fires if you run out but it's almost a candle and everything all in one and I prefer that so I carry that with. We'll take this saw blade out here and I'll show you the uses for the saw blade but I just put that rubber tube around there, pull the saw blade out, I cut that notch, there's like a little catch here with a button, you just put that right in on top of that shim, right like that, and that's as sturdy as can be. So I got a full saw blade, triple ground that I can use with this in the sheath and this sticks tight in the sheath but you got your own saw right like that so I thought I'd show that to you and we're gonna try it out and I'll show you some other things here but first we'll pull this out and I'll show you the other option you got with this knife that's why it has a hole in there in the center so if you need it to cut wire, on the bottom of this you can cut wire on the sheath of this knife. But it comes with that steel, steel plate to hold your sheath. You got rubber already here to keep it from hitting stuff. I think it's an excellent knife, it's very sharp. Okay, let's cut the size up for our cook stove. But it's getting a job done and you could make a shelter with this or anything and it's on your knife so thought I'd show you that so let's take and try and see how this batons See that grind really made a difference. With a chisel grind you can't do this. Not near as good. 